What's up guys, today we're taking a look at the top 10 firsts in the world of technology. So first up on this list of firsts is the first smartphone. This one goes to IBM Simon, which was unveiled in 1992 at the Computer Dealers Exhibition. It featured a 3-inch touchscreen and had things like a calculator, notebook, email app, simple games, and more. At the time of coming out, it costed $900, adjusted for inflation, and that's about $1,340 in today's money. Second, we have the first phone to feature a camera on it, which is the JSH04 by Sharp. Now, you may have heard that the SCH V200 was the first of this kind, but it was not fully functional on its own, and it required a computer for complete use, unlike the one we're going to be talking about today, which could do everything on its own. Like I said, the JSH04 released in November of 2000 and was only available in Japan. The camera was 0.11 megapixels and it looked absolutely terrible, but thanks to the innovation that was adding a camera to a phone, we now have the power in our pocket to shoot 4K video on the go. Next up is the first home video game console. This belongs to the Magnavox Odyssey. This console came out in September of 1972 and sold around 350,000 units. It had no save capabilities and all it could do was display three monochrome dots on the screen with changing behaviors depending on the game. As well, players would place plastic overlays on the screen of their TV to create visuals. One or two players could play by controlling their dots using the controller which had three knobs and one button. Now we have the first ever laptop. This is the Osborne One. Made by an ex-book publisher in 1981, this laptop weighed 24 pounds and had a cost of $1,795. As well, it had a 5-inch screen, modem port, two 5 and 1 4th floppy drives, a battery pack, and a large selection of bundled software programs. The business that made this computer was never successful, but hey, at least they made this list. Fifth on here is the first ever website to go up on the internet. This website went by the name CERN and was run on a Next computer at the European Organization for Nuclear Research. It was created by Tim Berners-Lee and launched on August 6th of 1991. Next up is the first video to be posted on YouTube. The video was posted on April 23rd of 2005 and is called Me at the Zoo. All it is is the site's co-founder, Jod Karim sitting in front of elephants for 18 seconds and talking about their trunks and whatnot. The video now has over 30 million views and in 2015 for the 10th anniversary of YouTube, the description was changed to maybe it's time to go back to the zoo. This next one is the father to Instagram, Facebook, and all other social media sites. The first social media site went by the name Six Degrees and was put up in 1997. It allowed users to upload a profile picture as well as make friends with other users. The website didn't really get popular though until 1999. Eighth, we have the first ever web browser. This one goes to Erwise, which was released in April of 1992. It was designed for Unix computers running X Windows. The development was halted due to all creators working on new projects, and in the end it was too expensive for them to keep the project in an improving stage. Now up is the first handheld console. The Microvision was released in 1979 and gone from the market by 1981. Even though it was pretty successful when it was first released, the large amounts of technical problems and limited amount of games led this device straight into the ground. It had 9 total buttons and a different set of controls for each game. As well, the screen was just way too tiny. Finally, coming in at number 10, we have the first thing to ever be sold on Amazon.com. This one belongs to the book, Fluid Concepts and Computer Analogies, Computer Models of the Fundamental Mechanism of Thought. This exchange took place in July of 1995, and the book was shipped out from Jeff Bezos' Seattle area garage. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more awesome stuff like this. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.